Good morning, Fungi Micro Warriors. Today we're going to be doing some agar malt slants. Um, first thing we're going to do is take some sticks, throw them in with some boiling water, and let them boil for about 15 minutes. While that's happening, we're going to go ahead and measure out our malt and agar mix here. It's just going to be five grams today total because we're only using 100 milliliters of water today to make our slants. So, malt, we're going to need three grams of this. Two grams of our agar. So uh, we have a total of five grams of agar malt mixture. It's ready to go into our 100 milliliters of water, but we're going to have to pause on that for just a minute until our sticks get done boiling. Once those get done boiling, we'll empty that pot out, get our 100 milliliters of distilled water in there, and we will mix our powder into our water and get that made. All right, we're back and our sticks have been done boiling. I've drained them put them into the tubes um, and wash the pot so that I can use the pot. Also, just doing a little math and um, I'm gonna do 200 milliliters of water. So I went ahead and while I was away, remeasured and got another five grams of uh, powdered mix in here so that we can use that in our 200 milliliters of water. So 10 total grams and um, 200 milliliters of water. So we're just going to go ahead and stick this in our pot and turn our burner on so that it can start warming. We're going to take our powder and we're going to mix it in here nice and easy like just to try to get it to dissolve as much as we can. When the heat comes into the water real well, it'll uh, improve the solubility of this. It's a uh, lime shreds word. Um, it'll, in, it'll improve the way that this looks in here. It'll improve the um, mixture from being grainy like this it'll, and it'll become completely smooth <laughs> in order to do that we need to bring this uh, we need to bring this mixture up to at least 185 degrees for two to three minutes so we're just going to sit here with it and try to watch it a little bit here and grab my uh, temperature gauge and that way we can see what temperature it is so it doesn't get too hot Agar does not dissolve completely until about 185, 190 degrees. So we're still quite a ways off, but we're getting there. Sixty-four, one sixty-five. 
189. And if it starts boiling too much, make sure you take it off. Don't let it get 200 degrees. The malt will not like you after 200 degrees. So we want it to stay right about here for about two minutes. see on the spoon most of the granules are gone You'll notice as this gets warmer and everything dissolves into the water appropriately, um, not only does the spoon get cleaner and things like that, but this get, liquid gets a lot more clear, which is why some people add food coloring to it. It's been about two, two and a half minutes. It's still reading. Uh, it's not reading as warm as I'd like it to. Maybe I'll turn the heat up just a bit here. And give it another 30 seconds or so. Once this is done, we're going to pour it back into the jar. We had our water in. And then we're just going to go ahead and fill this pot up most of the way with warm water and set it here so that that can take care of the agar that's stuck to the sides. We're going to flip our lid around so that it's upside down and put it back on our jar. Finger tight. Just finger tight. And then we're going to get our pressure cooker and pressure cook it for uh, 30 minutes. 15 PSA. All right, Fungi Michael Warriors, we have our agar, we've got our super fast pot, and we'll grab some aluminum foil to put as a cover over the top of our agar. We don't need any extra water getting in here. And again, we're just gonna check, make sure that this is on finger tight. And we're gonna get some water and throw some water into our pot. This pot's gonna take about oh, about a liter of water or so to fill it up just to the bottom of the uh, standoff on the bottom of the pot. And we can stick our agar mix inside the pot, making sure it's stable. Let's get the lid and throw it on our super fast pot. And we're going to sterilize it on high for 30 minutes. 
so we'll be back after that's done so that we can get the finished agar and throw them into our uh, tubes create the create our slant all right we're back and this is done sanitizing our safety latch has gone down so we can go ahead and we can take our lid off now and with the glove we're gonna go ahead and take this out and set it down And then as you can see, I've got a syringe, um, and I've got my temperature gun, I've got some dishes, and I've got some slants ready to go and my box. So I'm gonna be setting up to get everything into my box. Um, but before I do that, I need to make sure that this isn't super hot. So let's check the temperature on that. 181 all right so we need to come down about 20 degrees 10 20 degrees and then we can start putting this into the slants and things all right so we got all of our things ready we're gonna go ahead and start spraying everything getting everything sanitized before we Go any further and get this stuff in the box. Spray my hands down good. Get my syringe. Spray it. Wipe it since it fell on the floor. Spray it again. It's probably fine. Let's go ahead and spray this down. All right, now I'm going to add agar to the slants. If I have agar left over, I'll add it to the the dishes so let's go ahead and get started One final spray here on my hands, arms. I'm gonna suck this stuff up.
cap on. Set it down. I'm just going to repeat this process until all nine of our slants are completely full. These are 30 millimeter, um, or 30 milliliter rather, um, tubes. So I'm putting 10 milliliters a piece into them to start with. I'm just going to pour this last one. Alright, and that'll be all of our pours. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to clean some of this stuff up here. And I will continue to let this stuff cool um we get once this cools we'll come back and we'll take a look at it all we'll get some tape on these petri dishes also 